goodness gracious, great balls of fire. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We got today, or actually tonight, it's actually night time, it's almost 9 o'clock, but whatever. We got great balls of fire predictions. That's right, folks. Great balls of fire. Just like the intro said. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Now, this event is going to be held in Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Now, that is um, the hometown where my three good friends, Connor, Kelsey, and Ryan, will be attending the, this event live. And if they're watching this, guys, hope you have a good time and hope you enjoy the show. It should be a good show. And the main event's going to be great. I guarantee you the main event's going to be great. But anyway, on to the task at hand. We're here to talk about Great Balls of Fire. I may not like the name, but the match card looks good. I'm not joking, guys. The match card looks good. And this comes from the guy who, who criticizes most things. But, you know, whatever. We're going to get off that subject. But, let's get on with the main card. We got first the pre-show. Pre-show of all things, the Cruiserweights were on the pre-show. It's about a matter of time for the Cruiserweights were on the pre-show. Because why the heck not, Vince? Why the heck not the Cruiserweights are on the pre-show? You goon? Jeez. But, it's ridiculous. Cruiserweights are a joke. Neville's the only thing I'm saying about the Cruiserweights. He's beaten every one of the Cruiserweights. He's beaten every single one of them. Um, and I predict he's going to beat Akira Tozawa. It's on the pre-show. Do you really think that the Cruiserweight title will change on the pre-show? I mean, granted, the title has changed the pre-show, I think, once. But I can't remember what that was. Um, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't see Kiro Tozawa winning this match. No way, ain't gonna happen, especially if it's on the pre-show. But, 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 oh, wait, um, a title change hands on the pre-show, what? <clears throat> but, yeah, it may be true, but, you know, we're in this day and age, you know. It, you know, whatever. It is what it is, you know. And Neville, he's been built up since the Royal freaking... He's, he's held that title since the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble. That's right, guys. That guy has held it since January. Jeez, that's a long time. It's time for him to drop it to somebody. Like, seriously. Somebody needs to take the title off Neville. He's doing great. I will give him that. He's doing great. Epic. But, but it's time to drop it to somebody. I don't think it's going to be Akira Tozawa. Or, I'm sorry, Tozawa, I guess. I don't know what they're calling him now. He's probably the tightest brand, but, like, I care. Let's just see who's going to win. Tozawa's not winning. I'm going with Neville. Neville to squash Akira Tozawa. I think Tyus and the other interfere somehow, but whatever. Kira Tozawa ain't winning. I'm picking Neville for the win to retain the Cruiserweight Championship. Let's go into the main card, folks. Let's start off with... Let's start off with... Enzo Amore and Big Cass. So we all know a few weeks ago, or the villains meeting leading to this, we had backstage attacks on Enzo. Who was attacking Enzo? Then the week after, someone attacked Big Cass, and they kept going on and on and on. Pete's sake, Enzo, excuse me, Big Cass went over to Corey Graves a few several times and he said, oh, don't get in my business, um, who attacked Enzo, uh, Corey Graves actually said, I want to shake the man, shake the hand of the man who attacked Enzo Amore, so, and of course it was, I think the night after, some time, I can't remember what it was, Extreme Rules, I think, no, not Extreme Rules, it was a few weeks ago, actually, it wasn't after, maybe, what am I talking about, um, the big segment with the breakup, Big Cass and Enzo, pretty freaking emotional to me. Like, uh, Enzo was brought, uh, Big Cass brought him down, you know, you were bringing me down, you were holding me back from my potential, I'm the money, I'm the star, I'm what the big money is, you know, all that shtick. Um, he's pretty much speak, speaking the truth, you know, Enzo, you know, all he is is talk, 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 but, you know, that's just Enzo. I love, I love Enzo more, man, I love that guy. So entertaining, but, you know, you can get kind of annoying here and there. But, and of course, Big Cass in with the big boot, no pun intended. Turned heel, and that was it. Still use it for some reason, unless it's on Sunday, but <clears throat> I wonder if he's going to get the new theme song, because it came out past two weeks. It's been coming out with uh, the, um, the the theme song with the, you know, soft, S-A-W-F-T, soft. You, you know, you know Enzo, en the one Enzo is using now. But, of course, this past week on Raw, Enzo kicked off the show, talked his usual shtick, the cast was backstage watching on the monitor, Enzo went backstage and attacked him, blah, 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 and we're on to great balls of fire. Who is going to win this match? Big Cass. Who do you think, who do you think is going to win? Seriously. Enzo, I hate to say this, but Enzo is, there's really nothing for Enzo, Enzo to do on the roster. I mean, he's just flogging around, you know, without Big Cass, he's nothing. But, that's why I said they shouldn't have broken them up, WWE. You should have waited. You should have given them tag team titles, which they never won in NXT or on the main roster, you idiots. But, stupid. Just stupid, man. Stupid. But, 
I'm picking Big Cass to get the win. Enzo, eh, he'll get a few shots in. He'll get a few shots in and there. But in the end, in the end Big Cass will destroy Enzo Amore and move on to a different feud, hopefully. Let's go on with the second match. We got Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt. Oh, my word. Where did, the, where did this feud even come from? Why are they fighting? That's my first question, WWE. Why are they fighting? What reason are they fighting? Are they fighting over uh, uh, Bray Wyatt about JoJo? Hmm? Are we fighting about who can uh, uh, hang with JoJo? I don't know. But ser seriously, in all honesty, this, this, this feud is nothing. It's stupid. It's boring. It's lame. But you're all saying, oh, it's Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is always good. Seth Rollins. It's not Seth Rollins that I don't like. It's Bray Wyatt. They grew in Bray Wyatt, man. Ever since you gave him Randy on the WWE title at WrestleMania. Ever since he lost to Randy at WrestleMania, he's been nothing. Zero, nothing, zilch, nada, nothing, boring, stale, over, stupid, garbage. Jeez. <clears throat> anyway, and of course, uh, I don't know where this feud came from. Like, seriously, where the heck did this feud come from? But, what are they fighting over is my thing. Uh, uh, seriously, whatever. Um, Seth Rollins, of course, is the cover star for WWE 2K18, which I am so excited for, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited for 2K18, man. I'm about to explain to you in one video, but maybe one day in the future, maybe sometime down the line, I might do that. So why I'm so excited about that game. But anyway, back to Great Balls of Fire. Um, Seth Rollins, blah, 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 usual stick, blah, 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 Bray Wyatt, usual stick. Uh, Seth Rollins squashed Kurt Hawkins like a second this past week on Raw, and that was it. Uh, on the Great Balls of Fire, who's going to win this match? I'm picking Seth Rollins. I mean, Bray Wyatt's nothing. I mean, he could pick out a surprise victory here. You never know. But I'm going to pick Seth Rollins, you know, because Bray Wyatt's just flying on the roster doing nothing. For Pete's sake, the man was shown in the desert this past week. Just just wandering around the desert. Like his career. His career's wandering around. Give me a break, WWE. Come on. Idiots. Um, but it, it's nothing, man. For real. I'm picking Seth Rollins. Bray Wyatt. You're done, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ever since you lost to Randy Orton at WrestleMania. To me, anyway, you've been nothing. You're nothing. You know, leave it at that. Seth Rollins to get the win over Bray Wyatt. The Miz versus Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh my word, this feud has been going on forever! Like, seriously. This feud started back last year for Pete's sake. It was good back then. It was good, but now it keeps going on and on and on and on and on enough. Like, seriously, the, the worst part about this feud is has been that stupid, stupid segment with LeVar Ball. That was horrendous, that was stupid, that was cringe. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to leave any controversy or anything like that, but what happened there during that, I actually cringed during the entire thing. But, yeah, that was stupid. Don't ever do that again, WWE. But, um, The Miz has been doing the best work of his career, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. Dean Ambrose sucks. Dean Ambrose stale. Turn him heel. Like, seriously, Dean Ambrose, to me, is like, stale is stale bread. Like, seriously. Ambrose, and it's kind of a big Ambrose fan. I, I used to love Ambrose back in the Shield days when he was freaking awesome. When the slick hair, the, the slick hair, and you know, all that, the, the, the attire, the Shield attire. Now, uh, cutting cool promos. Now, Ambrose, he's nothing. He, he's, he's, he's boring. Every time I see Ambrose, I see, meh, okay. Um, and it's, it's sad. I, I, well, I used to love Ambrose. I got to meet the man in person, for Pete's sake. But, it's it's stupid. Seriously, turn Ambrose heel or do something with this character. It's just lame and boring and stale. It's stupid, WWE. It's stupid. And you know it. Like, this pay-per-view name is stupid. But we're going to watch it anyway. Um, seriously, though, the match card does look pretty good. Legit, seriously. Um, yeah, who's going to win this match? The Miz. Who do you think is going to win? Am Ambrose is just... Nothing. Don't get the title back to Ambrose. That was the worst title reign ever. I think. And this pains me saying this because I'm a huge Ambrose. I used to be a huge Ambrose fan. You know. It sucks what they've done to him. They've ruined him. As most people say, whoever goes to Raw is usually ruined. Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. That's just me. But I'm picking the Miz to retain. Outside help from Maurice by Dallas and Curtis Axel. Probably that. Miz is going to get the win. One, two, three. Miz will retain the Intercontinental title. Next! Um, let's talk about the 30-minute Iron Man match, tag team match, for the WWE Raw Tag Team Titles. We got Sheamus and Cesaro versus the Hardy Boys. Matt and Jeff, it's been great to have you guys back. I've been waiting for so long. 
Um, uh, this fan has been decent, I guess. It's been okay, but I guess because it's the Hardys, I'm so excited to see have them back finally. And I'll, I'll take them feud with anybody, to be honest with you. I mean, the freaking, the freaking club. Feud with the club, for all I care. <laughs> uh, but, um, in all honesty, um, it's been great to have all these back since WrestleMania 33. Um, that's the one thing I'm not going to forget ever from this year. And it's it was it was freaking spectacular. Now I think the magic's worn off. Like uh, the Hardy Boys, it's it's to be honest, it's kind of meh now. Like the magic was lost after WrestleMania. You know, it started to get it was it was good. It was good. It's still good. It's good. I love the Hardy Boys. I love Matt and Jeff. I love those guys. But it's just getting. Feel what I'm saying here, guys. It's getting just a little bit. Yeah, we we won't broken. We, we, we want the broken hardies. We we want broken Matt and Brother Nero. Okay? Delete! Delete! Obsolete! We want that. You know, I uh, heard their little thing with Anthem is almost over, but whatever. Any, I'm not going into that. But, um, it is it is what it is. I'm happy to see them back. And Cesaro and Sheamus, I don't like that team for Cesaro. Sheamus sucks. I, I don't care about him. He's, he's lame and boring and stupid. Cesaro, on the other hand, I love that guy. Athleticism is, athleticism is great. Superhuman strength. That guy is a beast. That guy should be the Intercontinental Champion. I'm not joking. Cesaro should be Intercontinental Champion. You know, Sheamus, Sheamus is entertaining sometimes, but it, it's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, to me. Um, third Iron Man match, this, Iron Man match is going to take up most of the show, probably. So, yeah. Who's going to win the match? I'm picking the Hardys. I'm picking the Hardys to win the titles. I don't know. It just, it's just something, it's just something that, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just feel the I just feel like the Hardys are winning the titles back. Probably to drop them to the revival at SummerSlam. That's the that's something I just think. I just think the revival's gonna come out of nowhere. They're gonna um probably they're gonna be the ones that break the Hardys. They're gonna be the ones that break the Hardys. Um I can see the losing titles to summer at, at SummerSlam next month. But yeah, that's just me. I, I think I think the Hardys are winning the titles back. I heard Seamus has to go and film some movie somewhere for about two months, I think. And Cesaro can be with nothing. Put an Intercontinental title picture, as I said. Please. Have them, have them as defend the Intercontinental title against Cesaro at SummerSlam. There you go. WWE, see, I just put that for you right there. Idiots. But anyway, um, I'm picking the Hardy Boys to win. Um, I think the Hardys are going to win. I think the Revival going to come back. Even though they're already back. They've been in backstage segments, segments and on Superstars for some stupid reason. Um, but... Um, I'm picking the Hardy Boys to win. Drop the titles to the Revival at SummerSlam. The Hardy Boys to get the win over Sam Sheamus and Cesaro. I said Sheamus. Sheamus. What's Sheamus? Sheamus and Cesaro at Great Balls of Fire. Very man Iron Man match. It should be good. Um, let's see what else. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's talk about Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks. Two of my girls going at it, and it's going to be good. I, 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 I'm not going to be upset about who wins this match because I love them both. Actually, actually, I'm going to kind of upset that Alexa Bliss loses the title because I, I love her so much. But anyway, um, this this should be good. This this really should be good. Uh, Sasha Banks won a, what was it, a uh, multi... Gauntlet match. There we go. Won a gauntlet match. Nothing like that. Uh, made Nia Jax tap, which is freaking cool. Like, seriously, Nia ran through those women like clockwork. Took out Bailey, took out Emma, took out Trash, tra took out, what's her name? What's her name? Dana Brooke. There we go. I just said trash. See, I said trash. That's what she is. She's trash. But, um, and in the end, Sasha Banks made her tap out. I'm talking about, um, Nia Jax. And, um, that was about it. This should be a good match. I'm looking forward to it. Um, let Alexa Bliss, my bae, my girl. I love her so much. Um, been a great women's champion since Extreme Rules. That very stupid match with Bailey and a Kendall stuck on a pole match. I swear I want to forget about that. Ugh, disgusting match. Um, anyway, um, this should be, this should be good. Who is gonna win? Oh, uh, um, uh, do you have Sasha win the title and go feud with Bailey? I have no idea. Do you build Bailey back up? Do you ever face Sasha at SummerSlam? I don't mind seeing that, but I don't know. I think you can have Sa Alexa hold the title a little bit longer. Have hold it till SummerSlam. You have the rematch at SummerSlam. And you could have, I don't know, probably the rematch at SummerSlam, of course, and you can build up Bailey. You can build up Bailey after SummerSlam, you know. And you could have Bailey win the title. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what people we have after that. I don't know. Sometime down the road. But Alexa, yeah, she's just been doing good, in my opinion. And no, it's not because uh, she's one of my favorites. It's because, you know, I don't know. Something about her in ring work and her promo skills are that good. She can work the crowd. She's very good at working the crowd. It's freaking awesome. Like with the wet chance. Those are those are hilarious. 
Those were hilarious when she freaking pretty much told the crowd to go and screw themselves. It was pretty funny. She's so good on the mic. That's just me. I'm a huge fan of Alexa Bliss. Anyway, Sasha. I love Sasha. Um, great talent. Um, what is there else to say? I love both of these women. Will I be upset about either one of them losing or winning? No, not really. I'll take with what I got. I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss to retain the title. I don't know. I just, I just see it. I just see them stretching this onto SummerSlam. I don't know. They could do Bailey. You could build Bailey back up. You could have face, her face. Sasha at SummerSlam, you know, her best friend. Her best friend, because I see a heel turn probably if that happens. Her best friend still got the title, blah, blah, blah. Started berating, ba berating Bailey. You're a freaking child. You're a goon. You're an idiot. You play with dolls, blah, blah. I'm talking Sasha Banks. You know, I'm talking about Sasha Banks here. You, you know, I'm trying to be Sasha Banks here. You know, you, 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 you're a stupid. You, you know what I'm getting here, guys. But anyway, um. I just see it. I don't know what the heck that was. It scared the crap out of me. Um, something on TV. Um, but, I don't know. I'm, I'm going with Alexa Bliss. I, don't know. I just see them doing a rematch at SummerSlam. I just see it happening. Either way, go either way. Either way, Willie will be happy. Okay? Willie will be happy. I'm going with Alexa Bliss to attend the title. Drop it to Sasha Banks at SummerSlam. There you go. Uh, ambulance match. Roman Reigns. Versus Braun Strowman. I'm not finished with you! Yeah. <laughs> I love saying that. I'm not finished with you! <laughs> it's just so fun to say. It's so fun to... I hope they meant... Uh, there's not a shirt out of it that says that. It's just so fun to say. Like, seriously. Like, you, you go to... You go to the... You go to the um, for example, you go to the diner. You go to the diner and you see... And you got bumps into you. The guy bumps into you and says, yeah, I'm sorry, all that stuff. He walks away. And then you yell, I'm not finished with you! You know, <laughs> he plow into the guy, you dump his food all over the place, you tell him to go screw himself. You know, you know. It's just so fun to say. I love saying that. Anyway, um, this, this feud's been great. I'm not joking. This is coming from a Roman Reigns. Hey, actually, Reigns is actually, I, I, believe it or not, guys, Reigns is actually, I'm warming up to Reigns. But, am I, am I delusional? I'm, I'm just joking. I, I, I know it's the booking. I hate the booking of Reigns. Reigns is a great talent. I'm, don't get me wrong. Reigns is a great talent. Great talent. Great talent. It's just the push is getting stupid. You, you know. But anyway, Reigns, you, you're doing good, buddy. You're doing good. And for those who don't believe me, I don't care. Um, I don't know. This, this should be good. This is going to be a good match. This is going to be a very physical match. Hey, dude, dude, you let them go out and you do let them do their thing. You let them go out there. You let them choke slam each other through the freaking tables. You let them go out there and you let them destroy crap. You let them go out there and do their thing. All right. You let you let Braun Strowman choke slam Roman Reigns through that ambulance. I want to see that spot. Seriously, I'm not joking. I want to see that spot. Roman Reigns being choke slammed through the roof of the ambulance. Dang, that'd be a good spot. I hope it happens. Uh, of course, we saw a spear off the bed of the stage this past week. Um, or, and, and of course, Roman is planning to go out to the Universal title at SummerSlam. This could uh, alter that plan, alter those plans, but blah blah. Anyway, uh, we'll get to the Universal title in a second because that match is going to be great. Um, anyway, um, this, I'm looking forward to it. Um, whoever wins could possibly have the advantage in the SummerSlam. I'm picking Braun Strowman because. Reigns will not have to be pinned or submitted, and you know everybody likes to protect Roman Reigns all the time. You know, the guy protect the guy. You know, he's the, he's the Superman. He's the new Superman. You know that. You know the Roman Reigns stick. Um, but th this is going to be a good match. It's going to be very physical. It's going to be very violent. It's going to be very brutal. And probably that uh, Kelsey Connor uh, Ryan, you guys might get um in the way of that. But I'm I'm just joking. I, I have fun seriously. I want y'all to chant Braun for me, and probably chant I'm not. Finish with you! <laughs> it's just, it's so fun to say. I can't help myself. I love saying that. It, it's so fun. Do you imagine Braun Strowman during sex? I mean, I'm, uh, anyway. <laughs> yes, I said sex. Anyway, um, I'm picking Roman Reigns. Excuse me. I'm picking Braun Strowman to win just because Reigns had to be pinned or submitted. You know how everybody likes to protect Roman and all that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Roman Reigns to lose and probably, I don't know, flounder around a little bit. Because I still think they're planning Roman versus Brock at WrestleMania. I don't know. Probably. I don't care. I, I don't care about rumors. But, um, anyway, I'm thinking Braun Strowman win the ambulance match. Should be a good, good match. And I hope to see a slam through the freaking roof. 
<laughs> On to the freaking main event, ladies and gentlemen. The main event that I thought would never happen. Actually, let me, let me tell you a little bit of a story before I do this. Okay, so before this match even thought of, I kept thinking to myself, what would happen if Brock Lesnar faced Samoa Joe? And then, even when I was watching TNA back in the day, I always thought to myself, what would happen if Brock Lesnar faced Samoa Joe in a match? And now I got it. And now I've been enjoying it. Good job, WWE. You've been doing good with this feed. You've been making Joe like a jit beast. Brock's been a beast, kind of. Um, It's been great. Joe has been doing the greatest work of his career. And it's been great. The promo this past, the sit-down interview, had me freaking... Oh, I'm so excited for this match. Yes, I was going to say what I thought you thought I was going to say, but I'm gonna, I, I keep this PG. Anyway, um, this is going to be good. This is going to be physical, and I hope there's blood. Uh, there needs to be bloodshed. There needs to be pounded. There needs to be pounded. There needs to be pounded. And, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so excited for this match. I, uh, oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for this match. Um, oh, this is hard to pick. Um, do you have Joe... Loser for building him up for all these few weeks. Do you have Brock lose? I don't know. You you know what? I'm picking Samoa Joe to win the title. You you know it's just it, it, I don't know. There's just something about this that makes me think Joe is gonna win the title. You built him up all these weeks to be the legit beast to just to lose to Brock Lesnar. I don't know what you think. Oh, Brock Lesnar's the beast. He's the part timer. He's the animal. But Brock Lesnar is the part timer who sits on his butt at home. While the Universal Tile's in the freaking refrigerator chilling. You know, Brock puts the Universal Tile in with his beer and his deer. He puts it in his refrigerator and goes and bangs Sable. <laughs> um, um, anyway, um, but, <laughs> um, in all honesty, guys, I am, this is going to be a good match. This is going to be physical, this is going to be violent, this is going to be carnage everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Where they beat each other with a bloody pulp and they just knock each other out. Like, seriously, this needs to be a legit fight. This needs to be, they, they need to go out there and kill each other if they have to. Not really, you know what I mean. But this needs to be carnage, carnage. I mean, I don't want to see. I want to see this flat. I want to see. I want to see Coquina clutches. I want to see the muscle buster on Brock Lesnar. I want to see some old Joe try to muscle buster Brock Lesnar. People, I'm not joking. I am so excited for this match. I want to see it happen. But at the end of the day, I think some old Joe will walk out the new. Universal Champion. You know, I don't know. Uh, but, but, Brock, but Brock's supposed to be going through these people. Brock's supposed to do this and that, this and that. I don't care. I want to see the championship back on Raw where it belongs. Not sitting in some... Not sitting in Brock Lesnar's fridge with his deer and beer. No, thank you. Um, And Joe's been built up like a legit freaking beast. I mean, Joe has me scared. Joe has me scared. I'm not joking. I'm, a, I'm legit scared of Samoa Joe. He seems like a cool guy. So I mean, if y'all, have any of y'all met Samoa Joe? Is he a cool guy? Is he a cool guy? Um, but um, this is going to be a fight. This is going to be violent. This is going to be carnage. As you can tell from the sound of my voice, and I'm sweating like a freaking maniac here. I'm so excited for this match. I cannot wait. It's going to be a freaking good match. At the end of the day, I think, I, I, I predict, I predict Samoa Joe to become the new Universal Champion. Not with a muscle buster, but I think he will choke out. I think Samoa Joe will choke out Brock. Even yeah, if we can see a reversal into the F5 and then it'll be over. Anyway, I think Samoa Joe will win the Universal title at Great Balls of Fire. And that's it for your predictions for the show, guys. I will be on vacation, actually, in Panama City. and But I will watch the pay you guys. And I will be watching it. And I will be watching for Kelsey, Connor, and Ryan on TV. If you guys are watching this, I will be watching for you guys. And I hope you all have fun there. It's going to be a great event. I wish you all safe travels. Hope you all have a fun time there. And we will freaking get on the lines with Christian freaking Miracle. And we'll do our thing. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but, I'm looking forward to this, guys. I'm, I'm legit excited. You, can you see this? Can you see the freaking goosebumps? Yeah. That, that's me shaking right now. A Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe. <laughs> That's how excited I am for this match, guys. Anyway, that is great balls of fire predictions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe for videos like this one. Comment down below. I love seeing the comments. And hope you subscribe. I love seeing it. Hit that notif bell for the notifications because I don't know why the heck not. Um, follow me on Twitter at Heal Balor. And 
Instagram, HeelBaller21. And I will see you all for the next video. Until next, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, for great balls of fire, I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And to sweet and goodbye. Oh, oh, before I go, one sec. Congratulations to Kenny freaking Ahmed for becoming the first ever IWGP, no, wait, New Japan, whatever they call it, New Japan Pro Wrestling United States Champion. Freaking awesome. Congratulations to you, Kenny Omega. And, um, that's what I did. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get to sleep. I'm gonna pack up tomorrow. And I'm gonna head to the beach the next day. So, until next time, dudes, hope you enjoyed the video. Do as I said before. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. And good night. Bang. Bye, guys.